Hi, I'm Denshi, and in today's video, we're doing a comfy guide on NVIDIA Optimus. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at how to configure NVIDIA Optimus manually on your gaming laptop. Now, for all of you uninitiated folk, Optimus is the name we use for the technology that basically makes a system work when it has both an integrated and a dedicated GPU. So in your gaming laptop's case, you probably have an NVIDIA GPU, like a GTX something or whatever, and an integrated GPU an Intel or an AMD, whatever. And that integrated GPU is what's actually plugged in and powering your display on your laptop. And through some clever trickery and all that, we're able to get the NVIDIA GPU rendering through the integrated GPU. Now this works by default and perfectly fine on Windows and it's pretty easy to configure. But on Linux, this can be a little bit more complicated. You could end up having some problems. You could end up with a black screen when you try to open programs and stuff like that. And today's video is hopefully gonna help you clear all of that knowledge to try to understand what's actually going on and, and how to set all of this up manual. Now I'm going to say that before we begin with any setup at all, you want to install the following things to your system. You want the NVIDIA driver and Xorg X render, which is a basic little tool you can use to change resolution and DPI on your system. Now for most distributions, you can probably just use the latest NVIDIA driver and that will work with your card. You'd have to look specifically if you're having trouble, uh, but in my case, I'm using Arch Linux so I can just run sudo pacman-s NVIDIA to install the NVIDIA package, which is the latest NVIDIA driver, and Xorg X Render, which is the latest version of the X Render tool. I'm not gonna run that because I already run it before and I have the NVIDIA driver installed, but basically once you've installed that, you now have the driver and you can now proceed to the next step, which is actually configuring your programs and all that to work properly with your NVIDIA GPU. Now, before we begin with the manual configuration, I wanna tell you that there's a very useful script you can do that does most of this for you. So if you scroll down all the way down here, there's this script over here called nvcontrol. Now, nvcontrol is a Python script and I'll have this linked in the description so you can go check it out. You can install this from the AUR as well. It's this little Python script that will automatically go through and check your system and figure out how to set up everything for NVIDIA Optimus, depending on what options you give it. So for example, you can say sudo nvcontrol, if I can spell right, nvcontrol dash dash switch and then NVIDIA or dash dash switch integrated or dash dash switch hybrid to get the three different modes for NVIDIA Optimus. Now this will only apply after a reboot because you know, you gotta reload everything. However, this script basically does everything we're about to do automatically. The only difference is that sadly, no computer script on the internet can give you knowledge. You cannot learn anything from running a Python program. However, you can learn something by watching this video and running through the steps manually, especially if you want to configure something in a custom way. So we're going to run through all the steps manually and all this is is really what that script is doing, but we're going to be doing it step by step, configuration file by configuration file. We're going to take a look at all the various ways you can get around this and set this up. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have something proper set up. But anyways, let's begin with the first most important step, which is setting your PCI bus. So if you run the following command, LSPCI, you will get a list of all the PCI devices on your computer. So things like, you know, your processor, your audio cards, your network cards, all that stuff that's plugged into your motherboard. Now, one of those things, if you've got quite a, a keen eye, as you can see over here, is your NVIDIA GPU. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run this command over here, which is a one-line command that just searches the LSPCI output for any NVIDIA cards. In this case, we got 0100.0. And if we run LS PCI again, you'll see that, yeah, that's accurate. Over here, the VGA compatible controller for the NVIDIA is 0100.0. In this guide, we're gonna be using the PCI address 100, which is what we got over here. If you have two or three or something else, then replace all of the occurrences of PCI with whatever you got when running this command. Now that we know the PCI bus, we can move on to the next step, which is configuring Xorg. So in our case, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this file, etsy x11 xorgconf.d and 90-nvidia.com. So sudo vim etsy x11 xorgconf.d, which is the xorg configuration directory, 90-nvidia.com. Then we're gonna copy paste all of this content over here. And as you can see, the PCI bus over here, once again, is set to the one that I have on my system. And you wanna change this according to yours. Now, all this is doing is telling Xorg to render everything using the NVIDIA GPU by specifying its PCI address. So now that we've set that up, we can pull on WQ or whatever text editor you have. And then we can move on to the next configuration file, which is this one over here. So sudo vim etsy mod probe dot d 
and then nvidia.conf. And in here, we can copy paste this over here, options NVIDIA DRM mode set equals one, and then write and quit. All right, now there's one more thing we want to do. We need to tell our display manager or Xinit to set the correct DPI and also set the correct uh, provider output source. So in my case, you can add the following lines to my Xinit RC file. So in my home directory, I have this file, which is what I run when I run Xorg. And what I can do is I can add the following lines. I can go through and copy paste these from the wiki and add them here. However, you're probably not using Xenia, you're probably using KDE Plasma or something like that. And in that case, what you want to do is you want to modify any of the following files. So I'll have this linked in the description. All these are are the different configuration files that you have to edit depending on your display manager or your login manager or whatever you call it. So if you're using LightDM, which is what you're probably using for XFC or something, if you're using SDDM, which is probably what you're using for KDE, and if you're using GDM, then you want to go through and make all of the configuration changes stated in here and then your NVIDIA card should work. Anyways, now that we've done that, I'm gonna go and test it. Because all of this configuration only starts applying after I reboot it, because the proprietary driver only starts applying once I reboot it, I'm gonna go and reboot my computer and log back into X. And then we're gonna run the following command, DLX info, then pipe grep render. So if I run that command in my terminal, you'll see that I get Mesa Intel Ultra HD graphics, which is the graphics card in my CPU, the integrated one. When I come back after rebooting my computer, I should get an NVIDIA output instead. So I'm just going to come back in a second. All right, I'm back after rebooting my computer. And now if I run GLX info grep render, as you can see, it tells me that I'm rendering on the NVIDIA card. So that configuration we did for Xorg and all that, that worked. And we're now rendering on NVIDIA. But let's say I got to go to school tomorrow or something like that happens. And I want to use my Intel card. I want to completely disconnect my NVIDIA card from my system, uh, so it's not even powered on when I turn on my computer to save as much battery as possible. For this, we're gonna scroll down all the way down to the section that says, only use the iGPU. And we're gonna just follow the commands and the configuration files here. So first of all, you wanna make sure that any display manager or Xenit configuration for NVIDIA is removed. So in my case, remember when I changed the Xenit RC file, I'm gonna go in there and delete the lines pertaining to NVIDIA and then write and quit. And in your case, you might wanna go through and get rid of your GDM configuration or your SDDM configuration or whatever you've done for LightDM, just to make sure you're not enabling NVIDIA when you turn it on. Next up, we're gonna get rid of the other configuration files that we made for NVIDIA. So the Xorg one and the mod probe one. So I'm just gonna copy paste this command and run it over here to get rid of those files. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go and add this file over here, blacklist-nvidia.conf. This file is going to let us completely remove the NVIDIA card by disabling all drivers for it. So we're gonna run sudo vim etsymodprobe.d blacklist-nvidia.conf. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna copy paste the following content. All this is gonna do is it's going to blacklist all of these drivers, which the kernel normally does load when we turn on our computer, so they don't load. Next, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna create this new file, which is called 50 remove nvidiarules What this does is it modifies UDEV. Now, if you don't know what UDEV is, that's the program that runs at boot that loads or unloads uh, different drivers and different parts of your system. It's very kernel level, it's very hardware level stuff. And in our case, we can run this entire command and uh, copy paste it. And what this will do is it will essentially borderline unplug our card so it's not even loaded. It won't even show up when we run LSPCI as if it didn't even exist so we don't even power it on when we turn on a computer to save as much battery as possible. But anyways, now that we've done that, we can reboot and if I run GLX info again, when I'm back, this should show Mesa and not Nvidia. So see you then. All right, I'm back after rebooting one more time and running GLX info grep render. As you can see, we're back on Mesa. And more importantly, if we run LS PCI and grep for Nvidia, we get nothing. In fact, what we just put in the configuration files before all of this blacklisting and all of these UDEV rules completely removed any traces of NVIDIA from our system to save as much power as possible. So this is essentially the polar opposite of running everything on NVIDIA. We're running nothing on NVIDIA. But anyways, most people tend to want some kind of hybrid solution where they're able to run some things with Intel and some things with NVIDIA, which offers a compromise between battery life and performance. And in this case, we want something called a hybrid system. Now, in the case of Arch Linux, there's a package that does pretty much all of this for you. It's called 
NVIDIA-Prime. So if you run sudo pacman-s NVIDIA-Prime, this will automatically install a tool uh, that essentially lets you manage this automatically. So you can run prime-run and then any program after it, like let's say SD, which is my terminal, and then it will run on the NVIDIA card. The only problem here is that prime run isn't actually doing anything. If we run GLX info, as you can see, uh, it won't give us any proper meaningful output because yeah, it fails to request it because the NVIDIA card has been blacklisted. We blacklisted it before. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of all these config files and then reboot and then we'll be in hybrid mode. So if you want to get a hybrid mode going on where we're rendering everything on the Intel GPU, but then we can run prime run before programs to render them on the NVIDIA GPU. So we're like selectively rendering them, we want to go through and basically get rid of all the configuration files. So get rid of all the NVIDIA configuration files, first of all, and then get rid of all the Intel configuration files, which are these ones over here. So just get rid of all of those uh, and then we reboot and then we'll be able to run under a hybrid system. All right, I've rebooted and now I'm in my hybrid system. So all the configuration files are gone and we can run stuff with prime run. So if we run GLX info by default, as you can see, we'll get Mesa. But if we run prime dash run and then GLX info, we'll get Nvidia. And the same thing goes if we render a separate window like this. So if we do prime run SD, for example, so opening the terminal in prime run, so this is now an NVIDIA terminal. I can run GLX info grep render and I'll still get NVIDIA. And the same goes for any games or whatever, any kind of software that you can start with prime dash run. And you can add this as a prefix in Steam or whatever gaming software. You can set this as an option in Lutris. So it automatically runs prime run to get all your games running on NVIDIA. So while most things are rendered by Intel on your system, you have the option to render them with the NVIDIA card if you so wish. But anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to NVIDIA Optimus. That's, I'm assuming, most people's requirements to this. Some people might want to go more complex and start setting up systems where, depending on battery levels or things like that, their system renders on NVIDIA or not. But the truth is, is that honestly, NVIDIA Optimus is not that flexible on Linux. It's quite hard to get a, a very interactive and automatic system with this. Even the script that I showed you, NV Control, uh, has problems when you try to run it on Intel mode because like I said, remember when we tried to run LSPCI and we didn't get any address? Well, this entire script relies on that command to find the PCI address of your NVIDIA card. So stuff like that happens happens, so scripts for this are quite hard to make, which is why it's important that you learn step by step what configuration files to edit and all that. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. If you have any problems, you can email me or join our matrix or XMPP or our Discord chats, which are all bridged by the way, so you can chat one of them and talk to people on the other side. Besides that, I've been Denshi. This has been a comfy NVIDIA Optimist guide. Goodbye.